The key to a comfortable retirement may be sitting under your own roof. In this episode, I'm going to address the question, what are the pros and cons of a reverse mortgage? Get ready, I'm going to dispel some myths that have been out there for years about reverse mortgages and you'll be able to determine if one may be right for you and when. So my name's Doug Andrew. I've been a financial strategist and a retirement planning specialist for more than 47 years. And so I've helped uh, thousands of Americans in particular uh, optimize their financial assets based upon US tax code and what have you and minimize taxes in retirement and empower their authentic wealth so they don't outlive their money. Because I've found uh, from doing this for decades that most retirees who outlive their money do that because of three dangers they don't know how to combat or eliminate or make themselves immune from. Taxes, inflation, and market volatility. And so they outlive their money. Well. When I see that a lot of times people do not have the wherewithal to continue to have the same lifestyle in retirement because they didn't save enough money, they thought they were gonna be in a lower tax bracket and they weren't, and they didn't calculate the negative impact of inflation on their retirement income that was relatively fixed because the government only increases your social security benefits based upon a formula that is usually only about one third of the actual inflation rate. Did you know that? In a nutshell, instead of comparing apples to apples, a basket of goods and services each year, they actually can uh, do an apples to oranges comparison, which is ridiculous. This is so stupid, but they can compare a filet bignon steak one year to hamburger the next if they want and say, well, people still ate red meat. They have the same lifestyle, even though you're eating hamburger instead of steak, okay? Now, this is what causes a lot of retirees who outlive their money because every seven to 10 years at the real rate of inflation, I mean, look at the gas pump, look look at food lately, they have to double their income or take out twice as much out of their IRAs and 401ks. So what do we do here in order to uh, make up for that? Many times people would come to me and they would be so frustrated And I'd say, well, your greatest asset to maybe making ends meet uh, is sitting right under your own roof. And they go, what are you talking about? I'm going to explain what a reverse mortgage is and why you may want to consider one sooner than later if you're retired. But if this is already resonating with you and you can think of somebody who ought to watch this, uh, share it, click like, post a comment, subscribe to this channel because I have over 500 educational videos that are designed to help you gain insights into opportunities you never knew existed before. And that's the purpose of this episode. And stay with me to the end and I'll give you an opportunity to claim your free copy of my most recent best-selling book. Don't pay $20 for it on Amazon. I'll gift it to you for free, okay? So a reverse mortgage. This is where people many times have a home and it may even have a mortgage on it. So. What have homes been doing? They've been going up in price. And so that equity in the home is an asset. Now, sometimes people think, well, this is my kid's inheritance. Most of the time when I ask the children, they go, mom, dad, we don't want the house. We don't care. This is your money. And so if your kids aren't greedy, you don't have to worry about leaving behind a clear and free house or a bunch of equity in your house to your kids unless you would rather suffer during retirement or live off of social security, charity, welfare, or your children for support. Is that what you want? Most people realize, no, I have my house, but I have to sell it. But if I sell it, then I have to uh, buy, pay cash and buy a new one because I, I can't afford a mortgage payment. Well. Do a reverse mortgage, stay in your house. How does it work? In a nutshell, instead of you making a mortgage payment, let's say, to the mortgage company, the mortgage company can make a payment to you for the rest of your life. Or you can take a lump sum, or you just simply get rid of a mortgage payment. I'm gonna give you three examples here in a moment of different ways uh, many uh, savvy clients of mine have used reverse mortgages. To be honest with you, my wife and I are doing one right now. I'm 69 
And sometimes people say, well, I've heard some bad things about reverse mortgages. They can take your house away from you. A lot of these things are myths. So I want to outline these with you here in the next few minutes so that you can begin to understand them better. And if it makes sense, you can then search out a reverse mortgage specialist. There's several of them out there and go through the process if this makes sense for you. So when you're looking at a reverse mortgage, the opposite is called a forward mortgage. That's the kind of mortgage where you're paying down the mortgage with an amortization schedule and you eventually maybe own your home free and clear. Well, can you take out a reverse mortgage if you have a current mortgage on your house? Yes. A reverse mortgage is simply a kind of refinance. And there's three basic ways that you can do a reverse mortgage. If you've paid off your house, you can actually take a big lump sum or you can have the mortgage company send you a monthly payment based upon your life expectancy. You can actually qualify for a reverse mortgage after age 62, okay, from 62 on. I'm 69 right now. You can do it in your 70s or whatever, but they're basically looking at your life expectancy between you and your partner. If you're married, you have a spouse. And so they look at both of your life expectancies and they calculate it. And if they think you're going to live, you know, 12 years or 15 years between the two of you, then they simply calculate how much money they will give you. If you have a, a house worth 300,000 or 500,000 or a million, they may give you 400,000 in a lump sum, okay? Based upon how much longer you're expected to live. Or they may say, you know what? We'll give you 2,000, $3,000 a month, or maybe you have an existing mortgage. And so they just basically take that and pay it off and you got rid of your mortgage payment. I've helped many people get rid of their mortgage payment and stay in the house the rest of their life. So let me address some of the myths about reverse mortgages and then give you an example of one or two or three that uh, I've seen just recently. So oftentimes uh, people will use a HECM, H-E-C-M, a home equity conversion mortgage. Sometimes people use a home safe type mortgage. And a mortgage specialist that does reverse mortgages will explain the differences and what might be helpful to you. And so what you're doing, you have to go through a counseling session and get a certificate because they don't want you doing something or making a decision without being fully informed, which is smart. And so you can uh, pay a lower interest rate, a little bit higher, or if you've got already a huge mortgage on your property that is at least 50% loan to value, but you live in a nice area where the real estate is appreciating, that the interest rate may be a little bit higher, but you get rid of your mortgage payment the rest of your life and you can stay in that home. So the mortgage company secures the loan with your property. Now that mortgage is not due and payable in your lifetime unless you move or if you go into a rest home or both of you, between the two of you, if you have not lived in the home for 12 months or longer, they may have a clause that says, well, it's due. Now they don't come in and just foreclose on your house. They give you a chance. They give your children a chance for you to sell the house. They'll give you a window of time, maybe 90 days or 180 days to sell the house and you get all the remaining equity. The lender does not grab all your equity. Now, if you want to walk away, if the mortgage has accrued to a higher balance than it's worth because of a recession, you can just turn over the house to the mortgage company if you want. You just do a, a deed in lieu of a foreclosure. But most of the time, homes continue to appreciate at three, four or 5% a year. They already know this. So if you start out with a reverse mortgage of 200,000 or 500,000, the balance just keeps growing, but your house keeps going up in value. And so they keep that spread and this allows them to then give you a monthly payment or that you can take a big lump sum, or you can just get rid of your current mortgage payment, even though you owe $500,000 or $700,000 on a house worth a million two or whatever. It doesn't matter what your property is worth. It's the ages of the people on the title, and they will always combine those based upon life expectancy. So let me give you a few examples and uh, this will help you understand it better. I have a dear friend and client, she's a widow, has been a widow now for like 18 years, 
and she has a mortgage payment of $1,800 a month and uh, her house has doubled in value in the last 10 years because it's appreciated over 7% a year. She's tired of having that $1,800 mortgage payment and so she simply did a reverse mortgage. So now the mortgage lender just took it over and said, okay, you don't have to make the $1,800 payment anymore. That's accruing and a loan balance. She can stay in the home the rest of her life. They can never kick her out of her home unless she doesn't pay her property taxes or the insurance on the home. You still have to maintain the home and pay property taxes and insurance. But as long as she does that, she doesn't have to make a mortgage payment. If the house isn't as worth as much as the mortgage balance, they can't come in and take it over. That was the deal. That was the risk they took. They calculated that. So if the reverse mortgage starts out at 300,000, it can grow to 600,000, 900,000, and they're counting on the house going up. When you finally die, if you have a house now worth a million and a half, and the reverse mortgage is a million three, there's 200,000 of equity. That belongs to your heirs. The heirs sell the house and get the 200,000 and the lien on it, just like any mortgage company, the mortgage gets paid off. The mortgage was accruing. And so they can't come in and take your house away from you. The loan is never due as long as you live in it and you pay the taxes and insurance for as long as you live. Does that make sense? I have another uh, gentleman and he did the same thing and he freed up about $1,700 a month. I have another close acquaintance that uh, had about 800,000 of mortgages between a first and a second mortgage, but the house is worth a million and a half. And they freed up $4,800 a month the rest of their lives. They'll probably live another 20, 25 years between the two of them. What can that couple do with an extra $4,800 a month? Do the math. That was a huge increase in their cash flow by simply getting rid of the mortgage payment. Or if their house was free and clear, they could be taking three or $4,000 a month of income. One way or another, they either save 4,800 or if they had a clear and free home, they just created four or 5,000 a month of income and it's tax free. So hopefully you've uh, gained some insights, maybe into some opportunities you didn't know existed before. There's a lot of myths out there about reverse mortgages. I'm not saying it's right for everybody, but it could be right for you. If you want to learn about opportunities like this, I would strongly recommend that you visit our website, you attend our educational sessions, but the best way to do that Claim your free copy of my most recent best-selling book and you'll be notified of educational webinars, seminars, and other books and videos and master classes that we offer. My passion and my purpose is to enlighten people so that they can understand things instead of hearing all these myths out there that are just simply not true oft times. Go to laserfund.com, contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling. I'll cover the rest of that and fire out a copy of this 300 page book to you. And you can begin to learn why this is my favorite financial instrument to have my serious cash where I would put my reverse mortgage positive cash flow in order to keep it liquid, safe, earning predictable rates of return.